Traveling internationally is so much fun, but it can cost you an arm and a leg. So in this video, I will show you a very simple yet very unpublicized trick as to how you can save on your next international flight. If you're currently planning your next international trip, especially if it's locked into a specific dates like school holidays or public holidays where the airlines jack up the price because it's considered peak seasons and a lot of people travel, then watch this video. In this video, I'll use a real example of upcoming holidays, which I used to book flights and save significant amount of money. So when planning this trip, especially if it's a family holiday, which is tied up, let's say, to school holidays, right? You are very limited for time. You only have X amount of time to travel within and you want to find the best flight, the fastest flight at the best possible price. You don't want to spend days in the layovers or traveling for four days out of the week just to have three days holiday. You want to get to your destination as quickly as possible, enjoy your time and come back. And generally those flights are the most expensive ones. So right now I will reveal a simple strategy you can follow to save on those exact flights. So, let's jump on a PC and see how it's done. So, as I said, uh, I will be using a real example of the holidays that I've booked and then I'll show you how much money I saved for our upcoming trip. And we start by going to Google Flights. And I know what you're thinking. No, it's not another Google Flights tutorial. We're just using Google Flights to understand the landscape of the flights between our departure and a destination point. So, our trip is from Dubai to Mauritius on Tuesday the 2nd of April, coming back Wednesday the 10th of April, and there are three of us flying. So we hit explore button, and by the way, if you don't know what Google Flights is, it's a flight search system which gives you a lot of flexibility to look for flights, and you can try it for yourself. Just go to Google, type in Google, dot, uh, Google Flights and go to, to their site and you can do quite a lot of it. But anyways, we'll get back to our thing. So we've got the flight here and we'll go and see view flights. And we've got multiple flights available, not a lot. Between some destinations, there will be a lot of flights. In this case, there is not a lot. There is a flight on Kenya Airways, but it takes 17 hours. So it's nearly a day you're going to lose off your holidays each way. And you've got the flight on Emirates, which is six hours, which is quite acceptable. And you don't lose too much time in transit. So and it's a direct flight, but the price is significantly different. Now we've got the flight that we want. We want an Emirates flight, which is the fastest flight available to us between these two points and how do we get it for the right price. So first we need to check the actual price on Emirates website. So we go to Emirates, we plug in the details Dubai to Mauritius, 2nd of April to 10th of April, three passengers and we hit search flight and we'll see how much the flights actually are on that time because Google also not always have updated data and as you can see the flight for those dates, the lowest price, is AAD 18,685 dirhams, right? So, how do we get it cheap? And this is where the trick comes in. First, we go to Emirates Partner Airline site, right? So, it's an Emirates page which shows all their partners. As you can see, they've got Flight Dubai, Qantas, United, Air Canada, etc. And what we do is we go through each partner and we check the price through that website. But first, quickly check if there is a partner airline for your destination. So because we're traveling to Air Mauritius, a quick scroll down, we have Air Mauritius here as the partner. So I have checked the other partners, but we'll go to Air Mauritius because generally that would be your best option. So now we're going to go to Air Mauritius. We set the same parameters. We're flying from Dubai to Mauritius. 
on 2nd of April to 10th of April, three passengers, and we'll hit book flights. Let's see what happens now. And again, it searches for some flights. And let's see, so we select, this is the only departure flight available. Uh, and this is the only return flight available, right? So we take, we select the flights and we'll click continue to check the total price. And we have 12,377 dirham versus on Emirates, which is 18,600. So that's 6,000 dirham price difference. That's nearly one and a half thousand dollars. It's actually, yeah, about one and a half thousand dollars price difference. That's the money you can spend on your holidays. And the most interesting part is, if we go back to Air Mauritius, right? And we check booking details. And we go into show flight details. We're actually flying on Emirates Airlines. So we're booking through Air Mauritius but flying on Emirates Airlines. As you can see, it says here, Air Mauritius flight operated by Air Emirates Airbus A380. So you are going to fly, in this case, on the same airline, on the same plane, but you're going to spend 6,000 dirham, one and a half thousand dollars cheaper on your flight. And that's as simple as that. So, in a nutshell, the whole process is check the flight landscape and find the best ultimate flight for you that you want to pick between your destination and departure. Look up the exact prices on the airline website of the flight you've picked. And then look for the partner airlines. See especially if they partner up with the airline at your destination. And then check the prices on the partner airline website. And quite often you will find the prices on the partner airline website for the same flight on the same airplane will be significantly cheaper. And I won't go here into the reasons why. You just need to know that it does happen. And it's a small loophole in the whole travel industry which you can use for your advantage to get cheaper flights. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and have a safe and happy travel.